Hey everybody, it's Phil with Behringer. How are you doing today? Welcome to Music Group Studios. I want to talk to you today about side chaining. Whether it's compression or a gate, there's a lot of fun things to do with side chaining and I want to talk about it. So let's check it out. So on my screen here, you can see, this is on the XAIR products, you can see that right here on my channel strip I have a noise gate, an equalizer, and a compressor. So on the noise gate and on the compressor, the last window on the right is the key source and for side chaining. Now what side chaining means is I will have one signal here, but I'm using the dynamics of another signal to control this one. So if I were actually wanting to do a side chain compression and have, let's say, my voice control the kick drum for some reason. So I go over here to the kick drum and on this part for the key source, I use channel 16. So now my voice is going to trigger the gate of the kick drum. There's a lot of popular use for that. Let's just say you're doing a guitar part, a distortion guitar part, or a 12-string guitar part, you know, and you just have it, but you want it to be really staccato and really tight with a kick drum. You want it, ow, 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 something like that, right? So what you would do is you would side chain gate the guitar with the kick drum so that only when the kick drum actually hits the beater, it opens up the gate for the guitar. And what's nice about that is the guitar, it doesn't, there's not all that sloppy ending on there or anything like that. It's just as tight as the kick drum. It's a real popular thing to do with bass and with guitar and the kick drum. Keeps it nice and tight and in the pocket. So this is a couple of cool things about side chaining on the X Air series of mixers. For more information and media, please feel free to come visit us at Behringer.com. Thanks for joining us here at Music Group Studios. Music